out of bounds again by Taylor. Could be, I think I even jumped on that one. Sound like a, a Shelton dunk or something. <laughs> Josh Collins will bring the ball inbounds now for Gacy. 142 remain in the contest. Collins into Williams. Williams is going to shoot it. Passes to Bellamy. Bellamy shoots. No good, and Spivey will be caught over the back. We've got one minute and 37 seconds left to play in this game. Score 116 to 72. Gay City a commanding lead. They'll go down to the other end of the court and shoot a one and one. Number 45 will be at the line shooting a one and one. First shot is up. Then good. While we have this time, we again we want to thank our sponsors for tonight. Braxton's Furniture Company, Bud's Gun and Pawn, McDonald's, Warren's Funeral Home, Weber City Drug, Agco, Sovereign, Bank, King Ford, and Roberts Tartan Recapping. We appreciate you sponsoring Big Blue Basketball. Second foul shot is hit and Gate City with possession. Williams to Collins. Collins drives the lane, shoots one-handed, good. Josh Collins just says, hey, I'm gonna get in the act too. Pumps it up and in. Number 22, Pennington. Crosses that court for Kiyoki. 120 left to play. Kiyoki would just soon get this over. A shot up, no good. Number 30, second effort, no good. Again, he's going to hit another shot. This time he makes it. Number 30, Keith Maggard. Williams now for GC, pushing the ball up court. Nice job of ball handling there by Williams. Passes to Bellamy. Bellamy pops the three pointer. No good. Rebounded by Collins. Collins loses it out to Williams. Williams for three. No good. Be free comes up the rebound. Strong move, short. Bellamy tried to rebound it. It saved in by Collins into Bellamy and good. Teamwork once again. Collins to Bellamy. That's the way it works. 26 on the night for Bellamy. 42 seconds left to play. 45. Three point shot for Kyoki. No good. And here comes Kelly Spivey. Spivey passes to Williams. Williams for three. No good. Rebounded by Collins over the back. No doubt about that. But Josh Collins says, I'm going to take out a couple here. 27 seconds remain, 120-72 to score, Gate City and command. If you're the Kiyoki coach, all you can tell your players is that we just ran into a buzzsaw team. Uh, Kiyoki, they have played a good game in their own they right. Have. They have. They have proven something to themselves that they can come out here and put points against a, a tough defense. 45 will be at the line again. We've had several good uh, outstanding point performances for Kiyoki tonight. Uh, Willie Maggard and his uh, brother Keith. Mark Phillips, Jimmy Woodard. Good individual performances. They just haven't been able to mesh together as a team. Second shot up and no good. Rebound number 25, Taylor. His shot no good. Beef with the rebound. Absolutely blew the Castlewood Blue Devils off the floor. That's right. It's not very often that you see a junior varsity team break the 60-point mark. But that's what happened. We'll travel to Castlewood for this report. He's very close to that by number 13, breaks the timeline. He's going to take it in, pulls up for the short jumper, no good, rebounded by Ghost. Ghost puts it back up and in. Into Eric Hensley. Hensley with a three on two break, takes it up, nice move there and in. Oh my, beautiful move by Eric Hensley. Well, quite effectively here tonight. The ball stays in the, the player's hands no more than a split second and it's gone. Snap now, looks in for Ghost, finds Ghost. Goes back out to Wells. Wells takes a shot from the foul line. Good. Sweet. Ball inbounds now for GC into David Wells, number 21. Wells breaks the ball across the timeline. He passes it over to Smith. Smith pulls up, shoots, and it's good. The junior varsity played an excellent ball game. Outstanding performances by all the boys. They're quite good. Coach Quillen and Coach Blackwell, who coached them, have done a fine job. Well, let's move on to boys varsity basketball. And it was the Blue Devils again versus the Blue Devils. Hey, that's only possible in Castlewood. Well, folks, the big story up there had to be Calvin Talford. Or was it? Calvin Talford is wobbly one of the highest touted basketball players in this region. He scored 22 points, had two electrifying slam dunks, and we're talking about a Castlewood ball player, folks. You have to give the Devils their due, whether they're from Castlewood or from Gate City. They have a fine ball club up there. But... The Gate City story is one that's amazing. Moose Morris had 30 points that night. And, believe it or not, this time it was someone who had never played basketball before that made the great difference in the ball game. Tony Bellamy came off the bench late in the fourth period. 
And, believe it or not, he came up with the game-winning points. Yes, folks, this was this young man's first varsity basketball game. We'll take you up for a look at both Calvin Talford and Tony Bellamy. 34. Down the court. Talford throws it and jams it. Oh, my. And brings it into Hensley for Gate City. Hensley will be working against Hayes of Castlewood. Hensley passes to Moose Morris. Morris setting the offense up. Passes to Pendleton. Pendleton. Inside to Shelton, loses control of the basketball, pulls it up, back out to Hensley. Hensley drives, passes to Shelton, Shelton shoots, follow from Gate City. Setting up the offense. It's going to pull up for the jump shot. No good, rebounded, it is tipped. And finally controlled by number 34 house, passes to number 10, stolen away by Hensley. Over to Morris. Morris goes up, and boom! Morris over three, Castleway players, ooh la la. City brings it in to Moose Morris, number 24. Morris will set up the offense for Gage City, working against number 10, passes down to Ferguson. Ferguson, looking for an opening. Pulls up, passes inside to Shelton. Shelton's shot is short. Pendleton with a tip up and in. What a great tip by Rusty Pendleton. There at the right time and the right point. Quickly down here to Hensley. Hensley's going to pull up for the jump shot. It's no good, rebounded by House. House of the Cook, kick the cow with Talford. He's going all the way. And swatted, almost trying to swat. Good intimidation. This is a gym filled with human flies out there tonight. Morris working against Hayes. Morris, one on one, takes it up. In, in. Oh Hensley bringing the ball up court out for the Blue Devils of Gate City. Passes down to Morris. Morris puts a move on. Shoots. Short rebounded there by. Oh, nice shot by Bellum. Hensley out to Ferguson. Ferguson passes to Morris. Morris using the screen, puts up a three. It don't fall, tipped out by Bellamy. Ferguson shoots, it's good! Oh my! Arthur Ferguson sends Razzamatown to Morris. Morris, Pendleton goes, had a position on Talford. Back to Morris, Morris shoots. Bellamy shoots, it's all! Oh, oh. Tony Bellamy with a contribution out the bench. Pulls up, passes to Morris. Morris shoots. Pendleton rebounds, puts it back up. No good, rebounded by number 34, House. Stole away. Hensley steals it, throws it up. Morris saves it. Morris back out to Hensley. One of three remaining in the game. Hensley puts the move on. Passes off to Bellamy. Bellamy shoots. Goal! Saves Mr. Calford. Stole away there by Hensley. Hensley saves it to Bellamy. Boys basketball promises to be good all the way around this season. We also would like to mention that the 8th and 9th grade boys are playing, and we will be trying to get some coverage on them as we can, covering the two varsity teams, uh, the boys basketball and girls varsity uh, volleyball have strained our facilities just a little bit, and we'll try to cover them whenever we have an opening and can get over them. with 34 points. Arthur Ferguson chipped in 22. Tony Bellamy added 18. The Blue Devils short circuit the scoreboard tonight. 114 to 61. The final Gate City over Twin Springs.
Welcome back to Gacy High School, where the varsity action is just about ready to get underway. Starting the game tonight, we'll go have uh, four technical shots shot as a result of Gate City's players dunking the basketball. So Gate City won't in the spot Twin Springs four quick points. <laughs> Maybe the only lead they see all night the way our Gate City offense plays. Anyway, we're just about set for action here at Gate City. And it'll be interesting to see who shoots the foul shot for Twin Springs. Twin Springs, as uh, the coach Addison put it, is a very inexperienced team. The only player coming back for the team who had any varsity, a great deal, any deal, a great deal of varsity action for the Meisters. Bill Dingus will be their 6'3 center, and he has 10 points a game. So they're going to be looking to build around Dingus in this uh, season to have a couple of other uh, good players, another good post player, and a uh, very good point guard. Should be a good contest tonight. Uh, Kevin Warner, the point guard you mentioned, a very quick player. We remember him from last year. Gacy will be starting tonight, number 24, author, excuse me, Moose Morris. 12, author Ferguson. Number 50, Rusty Pendleton. 32, Jason Hensley. And number 54, Chris, the Animal Shelton. And Twin Springs has yet to take the floor yet with their starting five. Don't know if we're going to have the technical or not. We'll have to wait and see what happens here. And we will have the well, fourth technical shot. Shooting the technical shots for Twin Springs will be number 32, Dean, a forward. He'll have four. First one up and good. Twin Springs up on top, one to nothing. <laughs> That's two to nothing. So quickly, Twin Springs breaks out with a two nothing lead. Oh, uh, he missed that missed one. That one. That two out three. And he hits that one. So Twin Springs blows out to a three nothing lead early in the first quarter, very early with no time off the clock yet. And Twin Springs will have the ball out of bounds. Inbounding will be number 32, Dean. And he'll give to number 24, Warner. Warner, the point guard. Spins around Hensley. Back to Dean. Dean looking to hit number 14. He does. That is Porter. Porter being guarded by Morris. Now to Dingus. Dingus out front at top of the circle. Back to Dean. Dean going to drive on Ferguson. Going to spin. Jump shot up. Good. So Twin Springs opens a 5 nothing lead. And here comes the big blue. Morris down the court now for Gage City over to Ferguson. Ferguson working the offense for Gage City to Moose Morris. Morris inside to the animal. Shelton wheels, deals, and puts it through. And he takes Mr. Dingus to town on that one. So quickly, Gage City scores 5-2 as Gage puts a little upcourt pressure on them. To Dingus, Dingus is on Buster over to number 54. That is Carter. Carter jump shot good. Twin Springs hot as they come out. Open a 7-2 lead. Hensley working the ball for Gate City to Morris. Morris putting a move on Warner. Drives, shoots, count it. Five. And Morris lights it up for Gate City. Keeping within three. Warner dribbles around Ferguson. Warner going to kick it out to Dean. Dean going to pull in the lane. Shot up. Telton there to intimidate and tip in by number 54, Carter. Hensley for Gate City quickly up the court now. Saying the offense up. Over to Ferguson. Ferguson looking in for Shelton. Back over to Hensley. Hensley inside the penalty. Slapped away by Carter. Comes up with a basketball to Morris. Morris for three. No good. The animal up with the rebound to Morris. Morris moving through. Hensley up and in. Good job of getting Dingus hung up in the air. Moves Morris razzmatazz. Now Warner. Double teamed over to Dean. Dean going to pull up for the 16-footer. No good. And stuck of the rebound comes down to Twin Springs. Topped in by number 14, Porter. Twin Springs on top, 11 to 6. Morris for Gate City. Works, pops, in and out. And Arthur Ferguson caught over the back. Twin Springs has come into this arena ready to play. They are not going to, by any means, lie, play, lay down and, and just die for Gate City. The guns haven't got hot yet for Gate City, though. They can really pop those three when they get hot. To Dean. Dean going to drive inside over Shelton. Jump shot. Good. Dean has really put some points on the board here tonight for Twin Springs. 
They are up by seven, 13 to six. Hensley across the timeline. Gate City will settle down now. Over to Ferguson. Ferguson inside this animal. Animal can't go nowhere, puts it up. No good, ball is tipped out to Warner. Warner cannot save it out of bounds. It'll be Gate City ball. Looks like here in the early going, Gate City is sitting in precedence by getting the ball inside. Ferguson brings it in to Hensley. Hensley to Morris. Inside to Pendleton. Pendleton up. And no good. The ball is loose. Knocked out of bounds by Twin Springs. Morris will take it out now for Gate City. Down by seven. 13 to six. Morris to Hensley. To Ferguson. Ferguson to Morris for three. No good. Rebounded by Warner. Warner brings the Twin Spring offense up. Three on four. Tips it back to Dingus. Dingus puts it in. And Twin Spring fans are alive. Morris, Willing and Dillon for Gate City. Up and in and out. Rebounded by Dean. Dean going to bring it down. We got a four on two break. Over to Warner. Warner pops from long. No good. Rebound Ferguson. Ferguson, three on two. Over to Hensley. Hensley. Up and in. No call. So this team coming out. Great fast paced game. Over to number 14. And he travels with the Dennis corner. Good pressure defense by number 32, Jason Hensley. JC down by seven. They was down by three before the game even started out due to technicals. Ferguson over to Hensley. JC with a chance to come back within five now. Pendleton to the animal. Back to Ferguson. Ferguson pops it. It is no good rebounded by Porter. Carter going to... Long pass up court to Dingus. Dingus shot up, no good. Carter shot, no good. Rebound comes down to Ferguson. Ferguson, quick left court now. Pulls up, shoots. It falls and out. Oh, Dingus with the rebound for Twin Springs. Quick pass out to Quarter. Quarter. Wyatt puts up the jump shot, no good. Rebound. Dingus. Dingus with shot. Oh, Chris Shelton rejects the shot. To Morse, Morse, up court quickly. Up and in. Moose Morris works his magic. Uh, Gate City breaks double figures. Ten now. This to Warner. Warner slows things down a bit. Over to quarter. Quarter for three. No good. Rebound Shelton. Shelton quickly to Hensley. Hensley shaking and bacon. Takes it up. And no a good. foul. But Jason Hensley weaving his way in there. Good move on the part of Hensley. And this game is going to be non-stop action quickly and we have a timeout on the part of the Twin Springs coach. While we have timeout on the floor, we're going to take a break by telling you you are watching Blue Devil Basketball right here on Channel 30, Scott County Cablevision. In the first quarter, Twin Springs on top, surprisingly 15 to 10. Gate City will send Jason Hensley to the line for two shots. This game has been a fast-paced affair since the beginning. Hensley Eyes of Mark, shoots, bang. You have to be impressed with Twin Springs. No matter what, they have come out and they have had some good individual performances. Number 32, Dean, has played well for them. Hensley misses, tipped up. Pendleton, the rebound. Off to Morris. Three second violation on Rusty Pendleton. Twin Springs will be inbounding the ball. Now Dean signals for players to come down court. Passes to number 22, Green. Back to Warner, back to Dean. Dean, good pressure. Back up to Dingus. And knocked out of bounds. Good defensive play by Morris in the lane. That's the first time we've seen Gate City press, and Twin Springs will not be able to handle that type of pressure much. Ball out of Dingus. Dingus over Shelton. No good. Rebound Pendleton. Hensley quickly for Gate City. Gonna put it up. It does not fall, rebounded by quarter. Kevin Warner going to bring it up for Twin Springs on the far side of the court. Looks as Dean opening the corner. Going to move to the far side, back over to number 22, Green. Green inside of Dean, and oh, for through his man, it will be Gate City ball out of bounds. Ferguson will trigger the ball in now for Gate City into Hensley. Hensley. Bring it across the timeline. Back to Morris. Morris to Ferguson. Ferguson looks for Shelton, finds him. Shelton spins, shoots, short, rebounded by Dingus. Dingus kicks it out to Dean. 
Dean has left impressive for Twin Springs. Kevin Warner will set his offense up now, gonna head back to the right, being guarded by Ferguson. Spins, and gonna give it to Dean. Dean, inside, shot is up, and good over Shelton. Ferguson, into Hensley, to Morris. Morris, working against Dean, back out on top to Hensley, over to Ferguson. Ferguson fakes for the three, takes it in, shoots, bottom. Arthur Ferguson, bullseye. 208 left to play in this quarter of action. Been a fast pace with Gate City with good pressure up court. Dingus throws it away, recovered by Hensley. And oh, pass just out of the reach of Arthur Ferguson. Hensley had the right intentions, but just overshot his man that time. It'll be number 22, Green, inbounding to Dean. And it's thrown away by Hensley once again. Gonna take it. His shot is up, no good, but a foul will be called on Twin Springs. KC now with an opportunity to cut the lead to two. Score 17-13 with 155 remaining in the first quarter of action. Full house here at Gage City tonight. The stands are full and there are people standing all around. Great, great fan participation in this game. Hensley's first shot, bullseye. I'm really impressed with the Twin Springs team. Many people were counting them to be a very very poor team, but I tell you, they've really shown me something here tonight. I think those fouls have to be in the, the game as Hensley sinks his second one. Uh, really, well, a big inspirational boost. Moose, Morris, playing a pressure. Dean has it up court. Over, Shelton, no good. Rebound, Hensley. To Ferguson, off the leg of Warner. Loose ball to the floor. Morris picks it up. Has Felton. Passes behind oh the back. My. Up and in. The back. Kevin Morris, beautiful pass. A Magic Johnson prototype. Green, pass up court to Dean. Dean, and here, gonna call a three second three violation. Three second violation on Twin Springs. Gate City getting back in this ball game. Not at 17. Ferguson triggers it into Hensley. Hensley, back to Ferguson. Cross the timeline to Morris. Morris, working against Green, takes it up. No shot, no shot. on gonna the floor. Foul before the shot. Send Morris to the line for two, I believe. No, it's not. It's gonna be a non-shooting foul. And nonetheless, good move by Moose Morris. Hensley will come to take the ball out now. Hensley. Lobs it in for Shelton. Shelton. Strong Moose blocked by Dingus, and he is charged with a foul. Shelton doing a good day, taking it strong to the basket. And the more they take to the basket, the more chances they'll have to get Bill Dingus in foul trouble. Shelton staying down on the line, just giving a big smile. He'll be at the line for two. He can give KC their first lead of this ball game. No good. It's something first shot up. Still not at 17. Chris Shelton has one weak point. It has to be his foul shooting. He has very difficult time with his foul shooting. Rebounded by Dingus off Twin Springs. Gates City, good pressure on Dingus. Finally dumps it off to 24. That is Warner. Warner puts it up court to Dean. Back to Warner at the three-point line. Looking to get it outside. Gets it to Dean. Dean from 18 hits it. This Dean is very impressive. Ferguson with the ball now to Morris. Morris singing about a three. Shaking it back and takes it up and in. Beautiful move. No contact with the defender. Great a body control. And Ferguson tips it out of bounds. Great defensive play by Ferguson. A very close ball game here, 19-19, with 39 seconds remaining in the first quarter of action. JC still with that pressure up court. Clinton breaks it. Dingus has the ball down the far side. Getting it to Warner. Warner quickly covered by Morris. Warner gonna drive. Long pass over, and it's off the fingertips of Green. Hensley picks it up. Pass over to Morris. Morris lays it in. Gate City with a two-point lead, 21-19. Dingus passes down to Dean, who's open. Fake Shelton. Dean shot up. No good. Dingus the rebound. Over Shelton. No good. And Shelton tips it in. Picked up by Ferguson. Three-pointer at the buzzer. No good tip up. No good by Ferguson. So at the end of one quarter of action, Gay City holding on to a slim two-point lead, 21-19. We will take a break. You are watching Blue Devil Basketball right here on Scott County Cablevision Channel 30. 
At the end of one quarter of action, Gate City with a two-point lead, 21-19. Coach Dave Mason bringing in Tony Bellamy, the superstar off the bench, as play is about ready to resume here at Gate City High School. A tremendous crowd on hand here tonight, a packed house. And you'll see a lot of this this year as this Gate City team, a very exciting ball club. Number 32, Jason Hensley will trigger the ball inbounds now for Gate City into Moose Morris. Morris working the offense for Gate City. Over to Hensley. Hensley passes to Morris. Morris looking inside for the animal. Animal. Willing and dealing against Ingus. One hand shot short. Crashes the board. Pendleton comes up with it. Shoots. Backboard no good. Pendleton tips it. Bellamy up and in. Tony Bellamy comes in and plugs the lead. As Gate City, two more. Dean, quick pass up court. Thing is, Thing is going to try to drive. Kicks it over to Warner. Now Warner going to set his offense up, being guarded by Tony Bellamy. Warner on the outside, back to Green. Green trying to find some motion inside. Twin Springs players just standing on the inside. No motion at all. As Tony Bellamy knocks it away, Warner able to recover. Out to Dean. Dean being guarded by Morris. And Hensley nearly steps away, and he does. Going to be with the Gate City ball out of bounds. Tony Bellamy will trigger the ball in now for the Blue Devils of Gate City. 23 to 19 to score Gate City on top by four with 7.03 remaining first half. Hensley to Morris. Morris. And he took a step there, and it will be a turnover to Gate to Twin Springs. Inbounding the ball will be Dean for Twin Springs. As Warner being hounded by Bellamy, good defense. Long pass cross court to Dean. And have to hurry to get it across and barely do. Shot no good. Dingus with the rebound. He puts it in. Dan Bell Dingus gets in the score box. Bellamy brings it in to Morris. 23 21 to score. Gacy on top by two. Morris to the lane. Up. No good rebounded by Dingus. Dingus flips pass out to Green. Green over to Warner. Warner holds it up. Long pass over to Dean. Get it, Dean. Move up and pass it over to the corner. Green shot. No good. Here comes Morris. Morris, a two on two break. Puts a slow move on there. Up and in, and he draws the and foul. foul. Kevin Moose Morris skying in and just laying the pillow in the cradle. We're going to have a timeout by Twin Springs. So while we have a timeout on the court, we will take a break by telling you the score. Gates City 25, Twin Springs 21. You are watching Blue Devil Basketball on TV 30. And we're back here after the timeout as Gates City will come onto the court with a four point lead 25 21, 6 13 remaining. Morris will be at the line to try to complete the three-point three attempt. This game is not for the weak of heart, that's for sure. <laughs> it's almost like a tennis match, watching the teams race up and down the court. Got a bunch of thoroughbreds here. Moore stepping to the line now with a chance to increase the lead to five for Gate City. Moore size the mark. Shoots. Bang! Completes the three-point play. Twin Springs, uh-oh, going to have a backcourt violation. And Mr. Ripper, oh, traveling, excuse me. A no-no. Well, good defense does for you. Is that right there? Creates the turnover. Hensley will bring the ball inbounds now for Gacy to Morris. Morris, working against Warner, passes to Pendleton. Pendleton, lobbing inside for Shelton. Knocked away by Dingus. Pendleton comes back up with it to Hensley. Hensley for three. No good. Ball is tipped up by quarter and finally controlled by Twin Springs. Quickly, Port, uh, Warner racing down court, going to slow it up. Being guarded by Bellamy. Warner going to kick it over to Dean. Dean going to drive and lose it. Rusty Pendleton recovers. Morris quickly up the court now for Gay City. Up and in. He draws and another foul. Mr. Cameraman, that's an instant replay almost. Morris already with 15 points will be going to the line looking for number 16 in the early going of this. 